This is Randy Bell with the Courier Podcast, the place to come for the latest Clinton news. The owner of a Clinton restaurant, which recently closed, is being allowed to serve food from a trailer as he looks for another permanent location. The Board of Aldermen voted 5-2 to two at its January 3rd meeting to grant a six-month conditional use permit to Eddie Holmes, who ran the Country Kitchen in the Spring Ridge Village Shopping Center for more than four years. Holmes says his troubles began with the COVID pandemic. It was kind of rough and uh, couldn't find no help. And the business just fell off. The rent didn't change. It kept going up and couldn't afford to pay it no more. And it just pushed us out. Holmes will now operate as the Country Kitchen on Wheels at 1104 East Northside Drive, hoping to satisfy his loyal clientele hungry for his soul food. They've been wanting us to stay in clean. That's what they've been asking us to do. As he waited for the city's approval, Holmes had been taking his trailer on the road. Unfortunately, I had to go to Jackson. And he said it's been a hassle making that daily trip when customers in Clinton were ready to buy his food. Now, he will be parked full-time in Clinton for at least six months. As long as they allow us to be here, we'll be here. Ward 2 Alderman Jim Martin voted against the permit, saying food trucks and food trailers have an unfair advantage over traditional restaurants. Our brick-and-mortar restaurants have higher overhead. We also constantly have citizens asking, when are we going to get new restaurants in, too? And the easy answer to that one is, let's uh, go to the restaurants we have now. That encourages more to come. And if we start doing food trucks, it's going to hurt our brick and mortars. Alderwoman at large, Ricky Garrett, expressed concern that granting the permit would set a precedent resulting in more food trucks scattered around the city. But Ward 3 Alderman Robert Chapman, who represents the area where the Country Kitchen on Wheels is located, welcomes the food trailer. This family's done a really good job of serving the community uh, when they were in a permanent structure over on Spring Ridge. Why would we not want to grant some sort of ability for them to serve the citizens in our city and to give sales tax plus that two percent to our city. Mayor Phil Fisher says he's working on a project to create a centralized location for food trucks in Clinton, but he's not ready to provide any details yet. This is Randy Bell.